All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this is gonna be another rant style video. I guess it's been actually quite a while since I've done one of these. I really haven't had much to complain about, and this isn't gonna be on any one particular thing. Well, I mean that's not entirely true. It's gonna be on a lot of different things. However, it's gonna like all lead back to one thing, and that's gonna be uh, the state of the game, I suppose. Uh, I mean, as I'm sure you can see by what I'm gonna have in the thumbnail, and you see up here. Player count's looking pretty low. I mean, it is like 1 a.m. at the time I'm recording this. However, this is pretty consistent player count around, you know, around the clock. It's around 10 to 15,000. Maybe pushing 20 at the absolute peak, but not really. Uh, and, you know, just, you know, maybe ask, like, you know, why is the player count so low? It's like, why has it been going down? Like, because, I mean, it's expected to go down, right? Like, no one expected them to maintain 50,000 players constantly. I mean, the game's not even on Steam yet, for one. So, like, no one expected them to maintain players, but then you ask, why is it so low? I'm sure if many of you uh, are dark and darker, like, content enjoyers, then you've noticed that a lot of streamers aren't streaming the game as much, uh, like, or they're not playing, they're only playing certain things, or, like, you know, they're just not playing high roller, only playing casuals, that type of thing, or they're just, like I said, they're not streaming at all. Like, I know uh, Repose, for example, in the past few days has barely streamed dark and darker at all. I don't know if he's playing outside of that, but I would assume probably not. Because usually if you're playing, you're streaming. I mean, it's just the case for me. I can't exactly uh, apply that to everyone, but I feel like generally it's how it is. But he hasn't been really streaming much at all, Dark and Darker, recently. I know he played a bit today, uh, and you're like, you're normal people that would play HR and stream. Even the people that are like lower viewers haven't been streaming nearly as much, not playing nearly as much. And, you know, it's just how it is. I mean, I'm not sure in terms of the YouTube content side, because I don't really watch them in YouTube videos on Dark and Darker. For the most part, I just watch Twitch streams. However... I assume it's probably around the same amounts. I mean, just looking at my videos, I think viewership's generally been down for Dark and Darker. I think people... I don't think it's that they're losing interest in the game, per se. I think it's just that the place the game's in isn't very fun. And now, let's, let me just put a disclaimer. I This is not because of the gear patch. I'm just going to say it. I think the gear patch that was just done and the changes they made to gear, I think that was a great change. I love it. I don't want that to change. I don't want them to change it back. I think how it is now is great. I think obviously there's some fine tuning that needs to be done. However, I think generally where it's at is in a really good spot. But then this brings me to my next point of there are several issues in the game right now that are very, very big that need to be addressed. And the upcoming content patch that we're getting, I think mid-November, they said, if we don't get it addressed then, or if we don't get a lot of new content added, then this game is going to be looking in a pretty bad spot. And... Think, see, the problem is, the reason I'm like, honestly, I'm kind of worried. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty worried because some of the issues that they need to fix are issues that have been in the game for months and months and months that they have not addressed. One of these is a really stale PvP meta. Uh, like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for my enjoyment in this game, like, I don't even care about new content, right? New maps and everything, it's cool. New classes, it's cool. However, the reason I play this game, the reason I've been playing it for three months since it came out early access, and the reason I keep coming back is because I love the PvP in this game. <laughs> excuse me i love the pvp it's my favorite thing and you know like i i don't care that i'm playing on crypts or ruins or goblin caves or whatever map it is that i've played on a hundred times i love just going in and pvping it's super fun and that's why i keep playing however the pvp meta has grown incredibly stale if you're an old player or even a new player i'm sure you can uh recognize that pretty much in high roller at least if you play high roller uh or if you play norms it's not exactly as bad but if you play high roller threes high roller crypts then 90 percent of the comps that geared people will run is going to be buff ball and if you don't know what buff ball is it's barbarian wizard cleric or barbarian uh cleric bard something like this some one some combination of those four characters with barbarian cleric plus either wizard or bard that's how it is and that's pretty much all anyone is running in hr there are a few exceptions but generally speaking that's what most people are going to run and that's been the case pretty much since early access came out. Because even honestly, even all the way, see if you're if you're a newer player, you don't know this, but even all the way back in the playtests, Buff Ball was arguably one of the best team comps. However, it wasn't as popular as it is now. It never became like it was always really, really good, but it was never like meta, right? Like this that sounds dumb, but it was never mainstream enough to really call it the meta because it was only played by a couple teams that were really good. However, now, 
pretty much any team will pick it up and play it because i mean it's not like there was ever like a skill like uh like a certain skill execution that was required to play the comp but now it's people have caught on to it enough and they've realized that it, it's really really low skill and it's even really really low gear uh requirement to run it and you get so much value out of it you pretty much have no downsides great bossing great pve great pvp it's like there's really no downside to the comp and because of this and because everyone's playing it and that's all you run into it just gets really boring and the thing is you know because this comp is so good if you try to play something else generally you're just going to get rolled over by it which really really sucks because then you have two choices either i'm forced to play it or i don't play it and then i just die to it whenever i fight it it doesn't matter what else you're playing it doesn't matter how good your gear is you're pretty much always going to be a disadvantage of even an even geared or a slightly less geared than you buff ball team that's because just how incredibly strong it is right now in the meta and there are a few reasons for this that uh i'll go over in a separate video i don't want to go over exactly why it's so broken and what i think should be done about it but i will make another video on this that i'll probably honestly record right after this now i'm thinking about it however but it's just it makes the meta incredibly stale uh and you're in the, like being put in the position where you are forced to play one comp and only one comp is just awful i mean right now there like aren't that many care like there are so many characters that just don't really see that much play because of it like rogue sees almost no play warlock no play fighter very low play at the high end because the fighter gets uh, dealt with by buff ball pretty much the only combination you see now you'll see cleric wizard barbarian bard maybe a few rangers however rangers very hard to play now because of the weapon damage change so weapon uh, rangers are a lot harder to get damage on and the thing is that brings me to my next point is the change we just got right like i said i said i love the gear change which is true i do however one of the problems with them removing so much damage is it makes tanky characters better and what's a tanky character right now that's dominating the meta barbarian barbarians are now hitting i mean well their thing is their barbarians didn't get much of a nerf because they weren't building weapon damage they never built weapon damage they, they they never needed it the only thing they really got hit by was the stat changes however so they nerf stats right so you can only roll up to uh i mean it's not that good here like you can only roll up to two strength or two agility on a big piece like your chest or legs and you can't roll uh, any sub stats on rings. So like this this strength ring can't roll agility or knowledge or will or any of that. And uh, pendants can only roll plus all. Pendants are only thing can roll plus all. However, they also increased uh, rings and stuff back to their old stats. So now, for example, blues have uh, like two strength. Uh, purples will have three strength. And uh, pendants are the exact same way. They increased the value of them. So the stats they took away from like you know rolls like this right here so there's only two strength of this now they pretty much added back with stuff like this and now you just have to optimize a little bit better <coughs> so for example you have to build padded tunic to get more strength than before you could build a rico gambison or a northern full tunic however you're not really losing out on stats and even if you do you're not losing out on many maybe three or four five at the most it's not a whole lot of stats you're going to lose out on so the stat change didn't affect characters that don't build weapon damage as much because you can still get those stats if you optimize into the right gear but like i was saying uh they also changed armor rating however armor rating wasn't changed that much you can still get decently tanky with not that great of gear you can still hit around 40 to 50 percent uh physical damage reduction in good gear with low armor rating rolls and the thing is like sure 40 to 50 percent isn't a lot however when you then compile that on top of 200 hp it becomes really really hard to get through uh because wizards don't do that much damage to barbarians because they have iron will which gives them free mr and then you removed all the weapon damage from the game pretty much so ranger which was like the best class at dealing with barbarians would paired with earthquake clerics they don't deal with barbarians as well anymore so there's really nothing in the meta that can effectively deal with them and it's kind of just like so that's like all of that together is caused buff ball to just be like the only thing that's played there's basically nothing else that there there, were, there is nothing that can contest against it now even the things that were good against the last patch pretty much got nerfed while buff ball didn't get nerfed as much originally i was saying i thought buff ball got nerfed this patch however i was wrong i i'm just i'll admit it i was wrong that's it it only got buffed 
I didn't think I, I mean I, I didn't think it did however now that I've seen the meta shape up it did it pretty much just got buffed but then and you so you might have, or I mean I'm gonna talk about like what I think needs to be done about it and obviously the other video is talking about so I don't want to get too much into that but one of the biggest issues other than barbarian having insane stats there will there are two one is Warmall has pen on it still because uh, they lowered armor but they kept pen and then two is cleric cleric is one of the biggest issues in the game right now Cleric has not received pretty much any nerfs at all. Look, one of the only things they did was they made it so protection, the Cleric spell, doesn't scale, so it's just a flat amount. But that's all they did. They still heal for insane amounts. They still have insane amounts of damage. They still have crazy zone control. It's just an insane class that really, really needs to be addressed. But on to uh, the next thing. The content patch that they're coming up with in November. It's like... What can they do to keep people playing this game? Because let's, okay, I'm going to be honest. It's an early access game, right? Like, you're expected to lose players. They're not going to, they can't add enough that it's going to keep 50,000 players concurrent. That's just not going to happen. However, a game like this should have replayability. For example, if you take a look at, uh, like, Tarkov, or, like, I, I don't, honestly, I can't even think of another one. Like, a Daisy. I mean, no one really plays that much anymore. I don't, actually, I don't know how much people play it anymore. But they do, like, a Tarkov, or, like, Daisy. Those games have replayability, like, and a ton of it. It's, all about you know you go in you loot up i mean i guess daisy you don't extract but like tarkov you go in you loot up and you keep going in and out in and out and they add like you know quests and all that which quests are supposed to be coming however i they've even said that the quest system they're implementing won't be the full thing it'll be like a smaller version because they're trying to rush and implement it so if they implement some like small quest system that's not going to keep people playing the game for a lot so it's like I said, so it's how do they implement enough to keep people playing? Well, I know they're going to add more stuff to like goblin caves. Like they're going to add like a like a second floor to goblin caves. And it's like, I mean, that's cool. However, that doesn't do much for a lot of players. That pretty much, I mean, that only helps solo players. You know, I think they're going to, or they're going to add something in. They, they're like, they're going to add ruins back in to the normal crypts. Once again, that doesn't really do anything. That doesn't change anything. Like this is a map we're already playing. Like they need to add new content that makes the game feel fresh again or they just, they need to change the current content that's in the game enough that it makes the game feel good one really big thing that i think we're all waiting on that we've been missing for a long time the talent tree the talent tree is something i know that when it comes out it's going to make the game feel entirely different as it should and this is something people have been waiting on for a very very long time because I don't know about you guys, but I remember way back in like Playtest 3 when I first started, Talent Tree still said coming soon. I mean, that's been over a year. I don't know about their definition of soon, but my definition of soon is certainly within a year. So we need something that makes this game feel better. Whether it be PvP balance that actually does something. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys. They've said so many times, uh, we're like, oh, like we don't want to focus on balance. We don't want to focus on balance. We're trying to focus on content. However, all they've done, they've done so many balance patches. However, every single patch, they miss the things that need to be balanced. So it's not like, it's not that people like want them not to focus on balance or want like want them to focus on balance. It's that people, they people want them to balance things that need to be balanced. Like almost every single patch, we get a new bard nerf. Every single one, bard nerf, bard nerf, bard nerf, song nerf, stat nerf, song nerf, stat nerf. Uh, you know, fucking uh, cooldown nerf, like what or not cooldown nerf, uh, duration nerf. It's like they constantly do these things. Like they've nerfed Bard, I think, 10 times since the class came out. It has been nerfed almost every single patch. However, we have clerics dodging nerfs, wizards dodging nerfs, barbarians dodging nerfs. The three most broken classes in the game dodging nerfs left, right, left, right, everywhere. And you could say, like, oh, well, they just changed stats. That's, like, an indirect nerf to them. Yeah, however, that's a nerf to everyone. If everyone gets nerfed, certain classes are getting nerfed harder than the others. Wizards are still insanely good. Clerics are still insanely broken. Barbarian is still the most OP class in the entire game. Well, yeah, I mean, give, I mean, with buff ball. Cleric still, in single character, Cleric's definitely is still the most OP. But Barbarian in buff ball gets made the most OP class. However, it's, like, it's not that they shouldn't focus on balance. Or they should focus on balance. They need to add content. But... The thing is, they can add all the content they want, 
But if the meta just feels stale, no one's going to want to play. Like, I don't know how it is for casual players. I mean, I don't really play. I mean, honestly, actually, I've pretty much only been playing casuals this wipe. I, how the game is right now, I refuse to play high roller. I don't enjoy it. I do not have fun with it. Like, if you guys have been following me, you should know. I've been playing. I pretty much played Barbarian almost the entirety of last wipe. I refuse to do it again. It was not fun. I'm not having, I'm not, I, so I'm not doing it now because I'm not having fun with it. I just, I don't want to. So, and the thing is, I know if IQ High Roller and I don't play Barbarian, I'm pretty much just going to die to other Barbarians. Like, that's just going to happen. And that's just something I have to accept. And I, I don't want that. So I'm just not playing HR. That's one of the best parts about like, you know, like Ruins, for example. Like, if you guys play Ruins, Ruins is great because it's only, it's a duo map. And the thing is, duos versus trios, you have to sacrifice a lot. You don't get everything you want. So you can't really execute buff ball as much. Like, oh, you want a wizard for haste invis? Then you don't have a cleric to heal you. Oh, you want a cleric to heal you? Then you don't have any, like, haste invis or bard buffs on you that uh, allow you to, like, you know, get more stats, move faster, swing faster, you know, invis engage, all that stuff. There's a lot you have to sacrifice in a 2v2 situation, and that's way more fun to play. Like, so if you guys haven't played much ruins and you're, like, really tired of HR or, like, uh, crypts, I highly recommend trying out ruins. It is a breath of fresh air, to say the absolute least. Uh, honestly, I don't even, I completely lost the point I was at. But anyways, yeah, so the content patch coming up, it's like, we need content in the game. Like, I will not deny that. I'm not one of the people that's like, oh, PvP balance, PvP balance, we need to do PvP balance. It's because I think, honestly, outside of buff ball, the game feels really good. I think gear's in a really good spot. I think most of the classes are pretty good. Um, I don't think they had to completely remove weapon damage. However, the problem is if they lower the rolls, whenever they lower rolls to like, let's say, for example, you can only roll plus one weapon damage, right? Whenever they do that, people just complain like, oh, like this is so boring. I can only roll one weapon damage on all my gear. Like this isn't fun. So they just remove it entirely. And I mean, so you don't have that issue of people saying that, which I could definitely understand them doing that. However, I do think certain classes don't have the ability to stack damage as well as they should. But at the same time, you can make the argument that's good because it slows down the game. Which I'm definitely down for that. Uh, one thing, though, I really hope they do is that I just hope they re I hope they swap strength. I've said this, like, many, many times before. Is they need to split strength into two stats. Add, like, a Vigor, Vitality, Constitution, whatever it may be. Stat that's just, that's HP and hell, even maybe resistances, right? Because it, the, one of the problems in the game is uh, tankiness doesn't scale nearly as well as damage does. For most classes, so like, you know, you get an armor upgrade. It's, like, very small. Like, blue riveted gloves are 13 armor. Purple are 14 armor. Like, this like this is basically no scaling at all. The only difference here is I can roll an extra stat on these. So, add, like, a stat that like, gives you HP and, like, maybe a small amount of resistances. Like, and then make strength just power. That way, for example, like, barbarians, if they want to stack strength, <coughs> then they have to sacrifice some HP. And, or like, you know, rogues, rangers that all stack strength, they don't get tankiness from it. It's just, it's not good design. You shouldn't be able to get a ton of HP and a ton of tankiness while also being able to get damage too. It's, you know, it just doesn't really make sense. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything else to talk about. Honestly, I've kind of just been rambling on. I've completely missed out on some of the things I wanted to say, I'm pretty sure, just because I completely forgot them by now. I'm trying to think if there's anything left. Uh, probably not. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to make the buff ball video probably right after this. So just be on the lookout for that, I guess. Uh, because, yeah, it's like there. I could talk about buff ball and how stupid it is for so long. And I'll probably repeat some of the things in that video that said at this one. But that's okay. You guys will watch it anyways. You'll be fine. But anyways, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. And once again, feel free to comment any of your thoughts or opinions on this. I'm happy to talk to you guys about this. However... Like, I love this game, right? Like, I'm just going to say, it. this is, I love this game. It's the game I've started making content on. I think this is, this is one of my favorite games of all time already, hands down. I love this game. And I want to see it do well. I want to see it succeed. However, the path it's on right now is just, it's not, it's not, honestly, it's not looking good. I'm going to be, I'm just going to be completely honest. It is not in a good looking spot. And I mean, yeah, you can like, oh, it's not even on Steam yet. When it comes to Steam, it'll have way more players. And that's true. However, one, we don't know if it will ever come to Steam. We just hope it will because it's not up to them. They still do have legal battles going on in Korea that they're dealing with. Like, that's not over. The game's out, but that's not even over yet. So they're still dealing with that. And, oh, no, okay, I'm sorry. I do remember what I want to say. But it's we need content in this game that keeps people playing, right? Because I'm for the most part, most of the people that are willing to play the game right now have already tried it. And it's not that people don't like the game. 
But it's that unless you're like a diehard, like hardcore fan where you're playing this game out multiple hours a day, it's like with what's in the game, you're going to get bored after a while. Like, like, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of big streamers that play this game, they don't really play it that much anymore. And so, I mean, there's only so much you can do in this game before you're like, oh, I just don't feel like it anymore. Another thing that is stopping people from playing right now, though, is because we are we all know there's a wipe coming. Like, they've already said they're doing a wipe mid-November. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not even doing leaderboards for this wipe phase. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think they've said it. However, the game's just wiped. There's going to be no leaderboards. There's nothing to grind for for the hardcore players. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, what's the point of even playing right now? Just, I mean, for fun, I guess. I mean, that's why I'm still playing. I enjoy it. But the people that want something to play for, like, they want, like, something to grind towards, like, leaderboards, they have nothing to grind towards. So there's no real reason to play HR. There's no reason to get insane gear when it's just going to wipe in, like, two to three weeks. When And there's nothing to even use that gear on. Like, just go HR, get better gear, just for no reason. I mean, I guess. However, yeah, so we definitely need new content. And uh, back to my original point, this thing is we need new content, but we also need the correct balance to be implemented. Because how it is right now, it's just the game is in a very, very bad spot for one reason, and it's just buff ball. If buff ball is in a balanced spot, because balance, when I say nerf, I don't mean it needs to be removed. It should still be a comp. It's just way too strong right now. And if that gets put in a balanced spot and we get some new content in the game, the game will feel much much better and i can definitely see the player count increasing but anyways uh like i said if you have any comments feel free to leave them down below i would be happy to talk to you guys about this or you know see what your opinions on it are but uh as always until next time peace